Finally, after three long years of searching, I finally found the Rainbow Rare Charizard. You fool, Cory. What do you think you are doing? Dark Lord, what are you doing here? I came to take this Rainbow Rare Charizard because you did not bring on that chicken wings like I asked, so if you wanted me to forgive you. Dog, you cannot do this to me. You know how forgetful I am. Yeah, cool. Yeah, the mess is still here. This is a few days later. I'm going to throw in some different openings, but I'm, I'm opening up all these Burning Shadows because I just got some air packs that I am really, really... I don't know. That was so weird. There was no reverses. Go check out the other video if you have not. But we're getting into the three-pack. Blisters right here. Never seen that. No reverses. There's the code for this three pack Cosmod. I'm just, I don't know, man. Let's keep checking these out. We're going to keep opening. I'm going to open up probably all these just to see. So here's the code. I don't ever get so excited about something but air packs, dude, because I could get so lucky and pull myself a rainbow Charizard because it was an error. And that's the only way I am going to pull this Rainbow Rare Charizard. Right there, Electivire. So, we've got three of these. We're going to do the other three right after this. I'm just going to roll them all together, but I'll split them up. Unless I get a Rainbow Rare Charizard, and then I'm just done. I'm just done. I'm going to end the video there. <laughs> Probably will not happen, but you never know. You never, ever know until you know. Yeah, no reverses. Strange. Strange. Electivire reverse. And we got Kawhi. Man, I haven't seen this card in forever. This is a nice card. Let's check out the condition of it as well. Because this is Burning Shadows. Centering's not terrible. But the back's probably, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So bad. So bad. Wow. That is really, really crazy. But so far, we've had some pretty solid luck out of these. No rainbow rares yet. Not one rainbow rare or secret rare. But they could come. They can come at any moment. But you'd know usually when you get something out of these packs. Because there's like, it's either super off cut. And you can see because everything in this set is super messed up. Charmeleon and Charmander. That could be a hint. That could be a sign. That could be a sign, is it? No, it's not. No, it is not. But so far, so good. One full art pull. I'll definitely take it. There's no card in this on this planet that I want more than a Rainbow Rare Burning Shadows Charizard. It's just so beautiful. There isn't one card that I want more. A Shadowless First Edition, I would rather have the Burning Shadows Charizard. No joke, I already have a Shadowless First Edition, but... I mean, I'll never finish the first edition set. That card's just like, to say I have it. I don't ever break it out. I don't ever, I never break it out, ever. It's always a put up. Cause uh, things about, like the thing about having something that valuable, like I know it wouldn't grade a 10. I know it wouldn't grade a 10. Probably and maybe an eight if I was lucky, but you know, like, people that have, like, 12 or millions of dollars in them, I'm like, ah, why? I'd get so scared that something would happen to it. Like, my collection I like, but having something of that high of value, I don't know. I know some people, like, uh, Rhyme Style, I believe, keeps his in a bank vault, which is smart. He's got his cool cards in a bank vault, which I don't blame him. But maybe a lot of people sit on it for retirement. A lot of people sit on it just because, but... To me, eh, I'd probably sell it. <laughs> I'm, I don't like to sell cards, but <sighs> that's a high price for a one card. It's not playable or anything. It's just like, oh, I have it. It's cool to have. Don't get me wrong. Maybe, maybe if I had a 10 or something, I would feel different. But I know mine won't grade a 10. Probably, like I said, probably grade a 7 or an 8 if I was lucky. A 9. 
but I, I never break it out. I never break out my prize cards because I'm just scared. I don't want anything to happen to them. You breathe on some of them cards and they're going to break. You know what I mean? So why do it? There's the code card for the next pack or three pack blister. All Cosmogs. I think the other one was a Meowth. I believe. At least these packs open nice. At least these packs open very nicely right there. We have, we have gotten one pull from, so far, six packs. So if we can uh, up that, that would be great. If not, oh well, it is what it is. Venipede and Bruxish, regular rare. Not too bad right there. That's actually terrible, but I'm just trying to be positive. Staying positive out here. Can we get an ultra rare or a hollow? Or a gold? Fairy energy, that was, that's one that I have not got yet. Well, I haven't pulled it. I have it, but I haven't pulled that. If I pulled it, it would go into my master set than the one that I bought. Because I bought it for, like, a really good price. I think it was, like, $12 or something like that. I'm like, dude, who would ever pass up a secret rare energy for $12? Not me. I'm crazy, but I ain't that crazy. So here we go, last one. So far, not so good. Fairy Energy, Mount Lanakila, Wick of the Thick Variety, right there, Stuffle, Stinky, Inky, Dab and Duskull, Tynamo, Gloom, Reverse, and Turtonator. So we got the Kawhi. Not bad, I'll take it, I'll take it. So these were our, I'm not gonna record the next one. I'm not gonna train it. I should, but I don't want to. So here we go. These are our pulls from 24 packs. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. None, no new ones, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Any day of the week, getting some pulls from Burning Shadows is awesome because it is a very, very tough, tough set to open. Leave it sealed. If you already have a Charizard, leave it sealed. But I do not have a Charizard, and I don't really care to leave things sealed, so I'm going to open it. So we have one more opening of Burning Shadows coming. Don't know when. So keep an eye out for that. We got Vivid Voltage and all sorts of stuff. You might have already seen a Vivid Voltage in my last Champion's Path video. So if you haven't seen the last Champion's Path video, you should. If it's up. Because I just recorded Monday's video, but this one, who knows when it'll be up. It'll probably be up Thursday, so if I record, yeah. So Tuesday's video, go check that out. All right, that's going to be it for the video. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I do post Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So turn on this post notification so you never miss a video. I'm signing out. Peace.